What's up guys, Joe Holland here. Do you want to know how to use your electronics for ice fishing and become a lot more successful ice fisherman and catch more fish using your electronics? Watch this. This is the Lawrence Hook 7 x hdi model super easy to use i'm going to show you how easy it is it's it's pretty much the most it's pretty much the easiest unit that i've ever used i'm going to shut her down and uh show you how quick it works and everything like that so we're we're powering it on and it's on just like that it's on that quick all right so on your on this button right here underneath your your arrow button this gives you all your options and on this screen right here we went to ice fishing mode since we're ice fishing but you do have options for that you can go to a custom mode you can go to an auto mode or or you can go to ice fishing so we're gonna stick on ice fishing then you back out of that now you could set your range to auto or you could set it anywhere in five foot increments in up to 30 foot and then it, it raises till you get up to 300 foot so this thing's good up to 300 foot deep I usually set it to what I'm fishing since it doesn't change when you're ice fishing. When you're in a boat moving around, it does change. Sensitivity is very important. The higher the sensitivity is, you're gonna get a little bit more of return in there. You're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you don't want on the screen if you have the sensitivity too high. So what I try to do is just match it to what what the water clarity is and the depth. So right here, for instance, like 37 is a really good sensitivity level and I'll show you why when we drop this jig down see that jig's already on the bottom and we're gonna lift it up so as long as you can see your jig you'll be able to see the fish just as easy and then you want to get out most of the interference too so see there's a fish right there on the bottom so you know sensitivity level you can mess with that and, and adjust it to every single hole where, wherever you're fishing. And that's what I do there. Um, let's get down into the advanced options. You have ping speed. I keep that up to 100. I like that thing bouncing just as quick as possible, giving a quick return. Noise rejection. I set mine on high. Um, it's either high, off, or low. And you could see this is low now. There's low. And then mess with your color line according to, once again, where you're fishing, what you want to catch. And I'm usually in like the 80 range. The higher you crank it up, the less you're going to be able to decipher what you're fishing for, what you're looking at for a type of fish, or what the bottom is. And then you turn it down, you can find a, kind of find a decent level where, you know, like right here, I got it down in the 90, at 90 setting you drop it down like in the lower 80s and then you got to start to see like your purples and reds are your really hard bottom your yellows are a little bit softer so when a fish comes in for the most part it's going to come in like an orange red and uh yellow when he's really when he's really directly under you i mean all in all that's that's just about all there is to this unit it's that easy to to work this this is a seven inch um the, the lawrence bag is made for anything five inch or smaller but you can actually fit the seven inch in there it just slides into these slots you could put it on a lower lock it in on the lower slots and and you could adjust it up or down like that but the way to get it to fit in there and be able to shut the bag actually is is once you get everything in there just turn it sideways and the bag will zip up but in a nutshell that's how you use it we're going to show you guys some fish catches with it and uh and what a fish looks like and as far as other screens this is your screen button here you can get to a full flasher mode you can get into a full flasher mode by just hitting your pages button this is a different page right here and then this gives you a flasher just like your typical standard you know older flasher and uh, i'll show you how that works real quick if you know how to read a flasher at all so that's actually the jig right there that purple and we have the sensitivity pretty high so you're actually seeing the line too and all of this white's the water column and this orange is the bottom down there around 16 foot and then you can see i'm dropping the jig down i'm dropping it down there it is around 13 14 15 16 and it's right there on the bottom now so so that's how the flasher works that's another page 
that you could use. I use that sometimes. It's, uh, you know, being a boat guy most of the time, I, I like the boat view a little bit better, the regular LCD screen. You get to see like the history of what the fish was doing too. So, and then you also have GPS, which is pretty sweet. So you could actually put waypoints down in this unit if you find a good spot when you're ice fishing and go back in the spring and fish it in the boat or the opposite. You know, it's a lot easier to find stuff when you're fishing from your boat. You could put waypoints down and then when you're when it's ice fishing season, go right back to the same spot and maybe fish the edge of a weed line or a rock pile or, or a piece of structure too. So that's pretty cool too. So guys, you can see on the screen where that's my jig bouncing up and down, and then the fish came up and I kept lifting them, lifting them, lifting them, and then that's exactly where I caught them and lifted them up, and, and here he is. And you know, it just shows you how strong those electronics are, because this jig is tiny, and this fish is not very big. He's the size of my hand, and he showed up so easy for me to see exactly what was going on and, and made it so I could catch him. Got him. That's a better one. Oh yeah. Those ones were tough to get to bite. Oh, look at that slab. They get tougher. Beautiful slab there, huh? I got a school of whiteys. Got him. Pretty good one. Big yellow. Woohoo! Big old yellow perch. Nice yellow perch. Got him. Big whitey.
I got one. tips guys for uh, for jigging when you're looking at them on your electronics is I like to try to raise that fish off the bottom just a little bit so you're keeping an eye on your jig and watching what the fish is doing and it's a lot easier to catch them once you get them lifted a little bit so they'll get curious and kind of come up and it's amazing the world that you know I never knew existed what was going on underneath for all the years of jigging on my own and not catching a lot of fish and then you get the electronics and it's kind of like teasing them or, or tickle them into biting is kind of the best way to refer to it. Is, uh, is so much easier to catch these fish when you're looking at them and seeing what they're doing. I myself prefer the regular, the regular screen where you get to see a history of what the fish has done, what your jig has done, and it helps me catch fish better than, than the flasher screen. But the flasher screen's also nice. It, I think it gives you like a little quicker, a little bit quicker view of what's going on down there. And it shows you that entire water column a little bit better too. So I prefer the regular standard view you'd have like on your boat or like the regular LCD view. So a couple tips for you and then try to try to get your transducer just as flat as you can laying in the water. You know, it, you don't want it off to the side or anything like that. This is a, the, a Lowrance transducer made for ice fishing. And then when I put this unit on my boat, I'm gonna have a regular skimmer style transducer. And the biggest differences are, this is pretty heavy, so it, it actually lays down in the ice hole, but it shoots a lot narrower cone than the bigger one does. The skimmer's gonna shoot a lot wider cone, whereas your ice fishing, you just wanna see what's going on right underneath you. You have that. And then, and then I'll put it down as low as I can below the hole, so I'm not getting any interference from the ice too. If, if, I can, if the ice isn't too thick and I can get it below the hole, I get a lot better view of what's going on down there. So those are a couple tips for you. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, put them on the bottom. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Throw a like on there if you like it. And let's get out and catch some fish.